Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on the line a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 300 videos so far on Shopify customization. And they were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share smart customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique and professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or hire on those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea of long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you decide and I respect your decision. But for now, let me actually fulfill another request, actually one of the most requested <laughs> videos, which is how to add a custom text field on your Shopify product page, which is the personalization box on the product page. And not just that, because I will share with you many calls in this video. First of all, I will share four codes for each team, because if you are using down team or one of the previous like sense, refresh, spotlight and so on, I got codes for them that will do that in this video. But if you are using Horizon or the other new variants that were released lately, no worries. I got the code that will do that for you as well. So no matter what team you are using, I got you in this video. And not just that, because I have multiple codes for each team. One for just the normal custom text box that would show up across all your Shopify store on all your products. And uh, the second, which is only on some specific product that you want. So the custom text field will only show up on the products that you want. And I will show you how to specify this product. And the third one, which is how to make it required so the user cannot proceed uh, to the checkout or add the product to the cart without actually typing anything on the text box. And the fourth one, to make them both actually required and only on some specific products that will show the custom text box. And you might be wondering, yeah, it's all free actually. <laughs> so every code in this video is completely free and it takes time to build stuff like this. So I would really appreciate it if you can hit that like button and leave me a comment. I do reply to each comment, so I would reply to you. And it also would motivate me to share more free things for you guys. And it's free too. I mean, the comment is free and the like is free and the whole codes are free as well. What else do you need, man? Without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with com completely new team, nothing on it. In each video, I add smart customizations. But the video like 70 or 60, the team would be completely different. For example, check out this all in one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources and with tabs filter up, as you can see, all recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable. Or you already saw it, the scrolling logos with the fade effect at the corners. Or you wanna see something that will make you more money? Check this out. This is the mouse cursor, right? I would act just like I want to leave or close the page and this thing would show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And yes, this is by using your own custom code and it triggers, actually it, it, it's exit intent trigger. So it detects when the user trying to leave and it shows them this so he can pay you the money he owes you. And many more things I cannot mention in one video. As you can see the section, many sections I shared completely free on my channel. But for now, as I said, I will show you how to add the custom text box and will be required on also on some only specific products so you can pick and choose. So in my case, this product page on down team, let me access some product. For example, this one, as you can see, it has so many stuff. So I think I will do demonstration on uh, horizon team, but the steps are exactly the same. The only difference between them is the code. And I will provide you with a code for each one, obviously. So again, wishlist system with the icon on the header. I did that completely free again. I will quit now, I promise. So let me close this one actually. And let me access horizon team, which is this one. So we will do demonstration on horizon team, as I said. Yeah, shadow effect. I did that just in tutorials. And so we will actually show it in here below the buy it now button. We will add a custom text box and I will show you how to do the trick of, uh, by the way, upload file. So if you want to add like file upload uh, field and text uh, field, I got you. 
check out my channel I already posted the videos with the file and you are already watching the video for the custom text so as I said we will add it in here so we will keep this page open do the trick come back and, and see it in action so get back to Shopify dashboard if you are already in Shopify dashboard click on online store then click on teams then click on customize button for the team you are using and you might be thinking oh, it's already available on team editor no it's not so the first thing the second thing we're going to do is you see this home page in here simply click on it then select products and select the default template for the products and let me switch the product to something cleaner this is just for the clarity of tutorial so they don't get confused yeah this one for example so I will add it below the byte now you can add it anywhere you want in my case I want to add it in here so click on product information template on the left panel to be expanded then simply select where you want to add it as I said I want to add below the byte now so I'm going to click on add block then it will show me this prompt where is it here it is then simply search for custom you will see custom liquid block this one then click on it and it will show you on the right of the screen here is where you can paste in some code and where are you going to get that code you need to hire a developer pay him with 24 i'm just joking scroll down the description box and you will see a link my website then simply click on it and download a zip file a zip file that will have two folders and each folder will have four files which is eight in total anyway it's confusing let me show you actually what I'm talking about so here it is yeah I was right two file two folders and each one will have four files as you can see so in my case I'm using horizon so if you're using down simply open up the down uh, folder in my case I'm using horizon so I'm gonna open it and you will see four files so the first one is the normal custom field that will show up custom text field sorry that will show up across all your products on all your Shopify store the second one is the same that will show on all your product but it's required so the user cannot proceed to the checkout or add the cart to add the product to the cart unless he type in something in the text box and the third one is for only some specific products that will only show up the text uh, the text the custom text field will only show up on spe specific products that you want and I will show you how to specify those products and the last one which is required and also only on some specific products so it combined them both and the same for down team the same exact file so as I said in my case I'm using horizon so I'm gonna use this one which is the required and also uh, only on some specific products now we'll show you how to specify those products so simply open up this file the file you are, you are using so now you can pick and choose which one you want to use and my pick and choose which one you want to use that that's that's a cool phrase anyway so I'm gonna use this one so I'm gonna open it with any text editor then copy the whole code inside it then simply get back in here and paste it in the liquid block the section that we did create or the block sorry that we did create so I'm sim simply pass it in here then click on save and nothing will show up why because we need to specify where we want the custom text box to show up if you did pick the one that will show up across all your product then it will show up in here uh, but in my case I'm gonna add it on this product as I said this one anchor bracelet so I want to show it for this product only so I'm gonna get back to the Shopify dashboard then simply I'm gonna search for the product so search for anchor uh, in my case is anchor search for the product you want to add the custom text box and here it is and simply on head over to the tag section right here and simply add custom dash text custom dash text just like you see the tag custom dash text add it then make sure it's here what is it make sure it's here actually it added then click on the save button wait for a couple of seconds and I will also show you in the in this video how to enable uh, how to enable it on the notification how to enable it on the uh, confirmation email for the user once he added to the product to the cart and checkout and so on uh, the email that we'll get it will include the custom text box and that he did actually type in in the custom text box so no worries now let's just get back in here reload the page and see if it will show up so let's just reload the page and here it is as you can see it did show up uh, I already have some products in the let me actually remove them this is by the picture as you can see so now for demonstration let me show you actually so if I click on buy it now it will not proceed to the checkout because it will say hey please add your request and you can customize this text just search for it or drop me a comment I will help you out but here let's just for demonstration let's just type in test for YouTube video now if I click on uh, the buy it now for example oh it's actually I have a file <laughs> So let me add a file as well. Yeah, now it's both actually included now because they are both required. The one I did add in previous tutorial, 
is also required. So now I have a picture and I also have a vi uh, the text on it. So now if I click on buy it now, it will proceed to the checkout and it will include them both. Check this out. So this is the request test for YouTube video and this is the picture as you can see. But this is just an extra for you because I completely forgot that the file upload field is still there so that's why it was uh, required. But for, my, for our case, this is what we need and here is, as you can see, it included in the checkout and also ch it will show on the cart. I forgot to show you that. But now let me show you how to enable actually the custom, how to enable the, the, the custom text box on the confirmation email. So get back to Shopify dashboard. After that, click on settings from the left, from the top left corner, bottom left corner, sorry. Then it will show you the settings. Then simply navigate to notifications as you can see click on not notifications then click on customer notifications then click on order confirmation in here then it will show you the default email as you can see then simply click on edit code it will open up the code in here and now so you don't get confused simply get back to the website let me open it actually the website where you download my files and scroll all the way down and you will see this code so simply select the first line, the whole line selected. After that, copy, then get back in here and click on the code just like you want to write something and don't simply use the keyboard. If you are using Windows, click on Control F, I'm on Mac. I'm going to click on Command F and it will show me this prompt right here at the bottom of the page and simply paste in the code that we did copy. Make sure to copy the whole line, paste it in here, hit enter and it will be highlighted on the code. And simply now delete the code in yellow, the one that was highlighted, simply select it and delete it. Now the second step is I added in here as well, this end if you will see it alone, separated with space, here is this one. Make sure to delete this one that has space above it, space below it, lonely like this and make sure to include the percenter sign in the quotes as well, uh, the closing bracket, sorry. So simply delete this one again we have to do this three times. These steps that you saw right now, we have to do them three times. So again, Control F or Command F, paste in the code, hit enter, uh, delete the code in yellow. Now scroll down a little bit, select the lonely end F. Do that again, Control F, paste in the code, hit enter, delete the code in yellow. Scroll down a little bit and you will see the lonely end F deleted. Now you're done. Just click on the save button. Now, when the user actually uh, added the text and proceeded to the checkout, paid for the product, the confirmation email will include the custom text. And if you want to add the custom file upload field, I already made that video. But for now, that's how you add the custom text field on your Shopify product page and only on specific product that you want. And the other files are actually will show up on all your products. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.